Hello. My name is Lloyd. My team ID is SG1810 and my team name is PHSSCR3. I am from Singapore, currently studying in Peihua Secondary School. The category I am taking part in is RCAP Cold Space Rescue Under 19. Cold Space Rescue is a virtual world where you must program a robot to collect different colored objects randomly placed across a fixed size mat. Every time the robot moves over an object, it will pick it up. This process will award you a certain number of points corresponding to the color of the object picked up. The goal of this challenge is to gain as many points as possible in the time given. There are four main parts to this challenge. Collecting the object, depositing the object, avoiding traps, and staying inside the map. Since collecting is the only way to earn points, it is the most important action. In order to maximize the number of objects collected, the robot must cover a larger surface area. I have achieved this by making my robot move in a zigzag pattern, allowing it to cover a larger area. This will in turn lead to an increase in the number of objects collected, which will ultimately lead to more points received. This flowchart shows how the zigzag code works. This is how my robot moves. Since the robot can only pick up 6 objects at a time, it is very important to deposit in order to score more points. This will allow the robot to pick up more objects after that. I have co coded it so that the robot will go straight towards the deposit area once it has gotten a certain number of objects. This is the basic idea of my code. When the robot collects more than 3 objects, it's, it will run the code to go towards the deposit area. Once it detects the orange box, it will deposit and return back to exploring. This is how my deposit program looks like. Now for traps. Traps come in many different shapes and sizes. The main features are a coloured surface surrounded by a yellow border. If the robot passes the stretch of yellow and end up in the middle area, the objects and the points corresponding to the objects will be lost. Avoiding traps requires the robot to distinguish the yellow colour using its two colour sensors. I created a try avoidance statement telling the robot to turn away if it detects a yellow colour just like when it's avoiding a wall. When the robot detects a trap and if it has no objects on it, it will move over the trap. When it has at least one object on it, it will avoid the trap by turning away. In the under 19 league of Cold Space Rescue, maps have a coordinate system that uses 1 cm as its unit and the world is 360 cm by 270 cm long. By treating certain x and y coordinate range as walls, I would be able to stay within the boundaries of the map. When the robot is exploring and land on certain coordinates, it will turn away and continue exploring. This is the summary of all the different parts of this challenge. During the preliminary round, there was one problem that I had to figure out. The problem was that the robot would spin around the edge of the map. I realized that due to the zigzag way my robot moves, it is leading to it going out of bounds, causing a 10 second penalty. I solved this problem by stopping the zigzag movement of my robot once it gets too close to the edge of the map. This allowed my staying within boundary program to run smoothly without interference from the way the robot moves.
Through my three years of doing Cold Space Rescue, I have learned many good qualities that will help me through my life. I have learned the importance of sportsmanship. I always tell myself that competitions are a great way to get motivated to do my best, but winning isn't everything. What's important is the lessons I learn, be it through experience or from my fellow competitors. From the countless of times I have analysed my robot for mistakes, I have also learned not to criticise myself too harshly and have learned to forgive other people for their mistakes. We all have made mistakes. What's important is to learn from them and improve as a person. Thank you for watching.